Hi there, welcome to Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. I'm Anton and today I want to show you my new uh, race car. I built this car, it's one of the fastest uh, cars I've ever built. I geared them up for extra speed so you can see a large gear driving a smaller gear. I, it's a remote controlled car because um, cars are way more fun when they are remote controlled. For the remote control in this car I used an app called Mindstorms Custom Control. Um, it's a, an Android app, it's free. And what I really like about this app is that it allows you to set up a few different screens where you can then um, move around your uh, controllers. Uh, so this, this could be a stick and um, let me see. So if I have tap the move button, I can move it around. I can resize my joystick, I can add buttons, um, which is all really neat. But the coolest thing really about this app is that um, it allows me to write the stick data to a Bluetooth mailbox. And a Bluetooth mailbox is something we can pick up on the EV3 side with a regular old EV3G and then convert that number to a specific motor command. Let's see how this works. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start up uh, the program here. It's called uh, Remote Bluetooth. Then I'm going to connect to my EV3. Okay, now it's connected. The button is green. I can go to um, the second tab here where I made my controller layout and um, as you will see now, if I move the controller, it will turn the wheels. If I move it forward, it will also spin the wheels. So, so you see, um, with this app and a simple NXTG program, I build a remote control car. So let's see how it drives in practice. Okay, now what does the programming side of things look like? Of course we want to start with a loop, it's a regulation loop, we want to read the Bluetooth data all the time. Um, let's go here to the blue bar and let's uh, select Bluetooth. Um, we want to receive a numeric value, let's call the first value vertical. I'm calling this one vertical so I can remember that it's the vertical axis of the joystick. Um, the simplest way to work with the vertical action is um, just to connect it to the motors that will power the rear wheels. So we, we'll just do it like this. Um, this will lead to uh, problems later. However, um, on simple race cars uh, this can work and the second action um, we want to look at is of course horizontal it's the horizontal um, part of the joystick and we want to read receive a numeric value here in the mailbox that we call horizontal uh, the horizontal part is a little more complex because 
where for the vertical part we can just pump the value from the joystick which goes from minus 100 to 100 into the motor power which also goes from minus 100 to 100 it's pretty convenient however here um, because we are positioning front wheels we want to use the stick as a positioning target this means um, we have to look at the position of our steering motor which happens to be in port A and compare that to the value of the horizontal stick so we will subtract that so we will subtract the current position oh no it's the other way around we will subtract the um, the current position from the um, mailbox target and this will generate a number that we can input back into our motor speed so let's just turn it on for a certain speed what this does is um, so say my joystick is at 50 then I want my motor A to move to the position 50 which is um, hopefully somewhat uh, to the left and therefore when it's there I want it to stop so when um, the, the target position is 50 I subtract 50 from the current which is the current position then I want it to output 0 because I want the motor to stop there however when it isn't there yet so let's say it is at 0 and I want it to go to 50 so um, then I subtract um, 0 from 50 which gives me 50 which results in a motor power of 50 so the motor is powered up until it reaches my target and the cool thing about this block is that it will slow the motor down when it's near the target um, this is the simplest possible remote control uh, program there is there are some problems in there um, but we'll see them later and fix them later for now we can uh, plug our brick in i advise you to plug the brick the brick in with um blue with usb if you are doing bluetooth stuff because the computer bluetooth is going to mess up the um, the bluetooth from the remote control app now that the EV3 side of things is done, let's connect the app. So um, inside the uh, Mindstorms custom control app, uh, I'm going to add an EV3. Um, and oh, it finds my car. Okay, here is the EV3. Um, I'm going to add it. Uh, and then probably uh, oh no, first, and then I'm gonna connect it. Okay. Then on the EV3 brick, it'll uh, ask if, if it wants to connect to my Fairphone. Of course, I want to do that. Pass key, press enter, enter. Um, let's see what's happening in the Bluetooth panel. Ah, uh, and you can see by the little diamond, uh, right next to the Bluetooth icon here on the EV3 screen that they're connected to. When they're not connected, it's just um, a bracket, and with the diamond, they're connected. Now, uh, in the app, we're going to go to edit mode. We're already in edit mode. Edit mode is green, and um, we're going to add um, a new screen. Um, let's say, yeah, let's just go with the default here, and it gives us a grid of uh, empty squares where we can add a joystick, that's going to be the most interesting thing for now, and uh, we're going to make it a little larger, so I'm going to drag um, the sizing icon here make it even larger okay and then I'm going to um, configure the mailboxes so the mailboxes on the phone 
connect to the mailboxes on the EV3. So let's connect here. Um, the X axis is usually horizontal. So let's call this one horizontal. And the Y axis, close the keyboard. The Y axis, we're going to call it vertical. Okay, now we're all set up with the joystick. It sends to a mailbox. We've named the mailboxes um, as they should. Oh, here I can review the settings on the side. I think this should work. Now uh, we're connected. We can exit edit mode and go into control mode. Now I get two tabs here. I go to the second tab where my joystick is. So now it's sending data to the mailbox. However, the EV3 hasn't started the program yet. So let's start the program uh, and see what it is. Cool, now let's see if it... Okay, so steering works right away. And um, however, you can see that the steering is too strong. When I'm halfway here, the steering is already all the way over and and it's also in the wrong direction. So we're going to have to fix that in the EV3 program. Okay, let's see if forward movement is right. You can see it runs backward when I move it forward. So we're going to have to fix that into the program too. However, we're really close to um, a finished remote control program. Let's fix the program. Now, I've, as we've seen, the vertical stick is connected to the power. However, when we move the joystick up, it runs backward. So we have to invert that value. For this, we have the calculation or the math block. And we're just going to input our mailbox value into the math block and multiply it with minus one and then output it to the power block. This will reverse the, 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 the forward power. And now let's reverse the steering and make it a little less. Uh, so we do this in pretty much the same way. We multiply whatever comes out of the mailbox by a negative number. This is only going to reverse it, but let's also uh, like half it. So let's multiply it by minus 0.4 and put that into this um, um, brick as a target and see if this works better. Okay, second run. Okay, it's downloaded. The, um, the app here is still uh, sending. So let's see what happens if I move the stick forward. Nice, the car is driving forward. Let's see what happens to the steering. So um, let's steer a little left. Awesome. So we have steering proportionally remote controlled race car now with an app and a simple EV3G program. Okay, this um, pretty much concludes my tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you um, want to support me, I'd appreciate uh, you're going to patreon.com slash Anton's Mindstorms and um, become a Patreon. Um, if you do so, I will also share the building instructions over on Patreon for this car and also the and the final EV3 program. You can all get that on Patreon. Uh, you can get this even as a $1 subscriber. Uh, the more complex uh, models require a higher subscription, of course. But um, I think most of all, it's important um, that you really want to support me and you really want more of these tutorials in the future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.